All right, Storm Chaser Bryce Shelton, thanks for joining us here on AccuWeather Early. Uh, we have you on the phone, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, first of all, uh, can you tell us what conditions are like right now? Yeah, conditions right now are actually clearing up. Still some gusty winds, but the rain has moved out. But the big issue here is still the flooding. The flooding has not went down any overnight. If anything, it has actually rose a little bit. That's helpful to know. And uh, this is the first time we've talked to you since you rode out the storm. Can you explain uh, how long conditions were bad for and what some of the worst conditions you saw during the stor storm were? Yeah, it was bad all the way up until about 1 o'clock last night with the worst conditions probably peaking around 1 p.m. yesterday afternoon. But the flooding, like I was saying, is was still rising last night when I was coming back trying to get to the hotel. Now, uh, are you seeing mostly inland flooding from the heavy rain? And have you heard any reports about how bad the storm surge was along the coast where you are? Yeah, so I'm in Manville, about nine miles away from the immediate coast. There's a lot of freshwater flooding here in the okay. city. But I do know over in Black River, they had a devastating storm surge as Melissa made landfall yesterday. And as for your plan today, uh, what do you plan to be doing? And have you heard from local officials as what they're telling residents to be doing? Yeah, as for me today, I'm going to try to get out of the city if possible. I don't know if that's going to be possible today. And I haven't heard anything from the authorities. And as far as wind damage, you were talking about that you were encountering down trees yesterday. Are you seeing lots of that? And what about the power situation? I'm sure there's a lot of power outages, but what can you speak to as far as the integrity of, let's say, the power system and the power poles where you're at right now? Yeah, so the whole entire city is without electricity, and many of the main roads here are blocked by large electrical poles. That includes the A2 road that goes just north of the city. It is blocked by numerous power lines. And, of course, with that, because the power poles are down, that means the restoration of power. That takes quite a bit of time to get new poles in. I mean, is that a, a widespread uh, uh, a problem that you're seeing right now, power poles and trees down? Yes, especially away from the city center. I do believe the buildings kind of protected some of the power poles in the city center, but as you get away from the taller buildings, especially on the north and south sides of the city, there are just power poles everywhere.